In the previous videos, I already showed you several ways to find your files, so how to organize them in, the, in your catalog. But there's one more way to interact with the photographs, and that technique is called keywording. I personally really like keywording, even though it takes time to add the keywords to your photographs, in the future it can save a lot of time, because it will help you to find them very easily. The most important thing with keywording is that you can assign as many keywords to a photograph as you want. So let's just think about keywording as an advanced file naming. So whenever you search for a file and you type in the file name, that's exactly how keywording works, but in this case, you actually can assign as many keywords as you want, as I said. So let me just show you a quick example, and then in the following videos I'm going to show you how it works and how to build up a keyword list. So as you can see here on the right, I have the keyword list with one keyword called statue. If I click on this little arrow here on the right, then Lightroom will automatically filter my images in my catalog and show only the photographs with the statue keyword assigned. I'm going to click on None to get rid of this filtering and I'm going to quickly assign another keyword to this selected photograph which already has a keyword assigned to it, statue. I'm going to just simply add another one and I call it elephant. I press enter. And then when I close the keywording panel and go back to the keyword list, I can see that now in this catalog, I have one photograph with the elephant keyword. Again, if I click on that arrow, it will filter out the images and it will show only that photograph. This picture was also included in the other filtering when I was looking for the statue images. Keywording is definitely a very powerful way to organize your photographs. As I said, it takes time to assign all these keywords, but probably Lightroom is the best application for working with keywords because it just offers so many ways to add them and it makes it really easy. Now that I introduced you to keywording, in the following videos, I'm going to show you everything what you need to know about them.